Yo, what up you two? This is something different and I'm not sure how it's going to come together, but it will come together. So, the age old debate, well I say age old, but um, a lot of people have asked me on videos and on um, Messenger, Messenger? Not Messenger, but um, like in, I, I run, I, I help run a little um, trainer group, so there's a lot of debate about the next topic. So, how? Ultra Boost versus Vapor Max. So Vapor Max is Nike's new innovation into comfort and running. Ultra Boost has been around for a little bit now um, and seems to be dominating the market in regards to comfort, style, and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of give you my swing on it, my opinion. And and I haven't been sponsored by any of the companies yet. Um, I haven't been swayed by anyone. This is obviously my opinion. And my opinion from actually wearing both of the silhouettes in this um, video. Sorry if it's a little bit lean, but anyway, I don't care. So let's start off with the Ultra Boost. So this is, um, I've got a few pairs of Ultra Boost, but this is the one that I've taken to. For me, the uncaged, is probably the most comfortable ultra boost you can get just because there's no restriction on the actual um on the arch of your of your foot um the flat the um the prime knit is very um it molds to your feet but it doesn't mold to your feet in a way that it molds to your feet and stays in the shape of your foot when you take your foot out of the trainer it goes back into the look let me show you so obviously i've been beating these i've worn these to um Iceland, I've been everywhere in these. Um, and the shape is still holding up. You know what I mean? Um, Style-wise, yeah, you can wear them with straights and whatnot. Um, that's how I do it most of the time. But a lot of people do that whole um, turn-ups business and showing your ankles and all that. I'm not really into them style, you get me? Them style not really for wearing the mask, you see me? You see me? Not for really for me, but I know enough of you, man, love them style, roll up, pin rolls and all that shit. It's not for me though, brother. Uh, maybe, no, no, not even a maybe. But anyway, so the support on the ankle is really good. So you've got that Ultra Boost, um, the logo there, but it's actually your ankle support, which stops you from flippy flappering. Um, again, it's, it's a nice trainer, but, it's very, the sole is very soft. I can't deny the comfortability. Very, very soft. But there's something iffy about it. Like, you wouldn't want to run 100 meters in these. Your foot would, would be all over the place because of this, this material here. I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's just not, I can't think of the word. But anyway, let's move that aside. Nike's new innovation, which is the, um, what's this called again? Vapor Max, the Nike Vapor Max. You probably can't even see it too tough because I haven't got the I've got the um the camera angle wrong. But um there you go. Boom. <coughs> Dying. <coughs> I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Anyway, so the fly knit upper on the Vapor Max, insane. One of those ones where it will automatically mold back to your foot. You've got the fly knit or fly wire, which you can just see here. Um there. Boom skin, which is like a nice little touch, but it adds to the durability of the lace holes on the trainer. So those won't pull any way, shape or form. But if I just bring back in the actual, um, if I bring back in the, the Adidas trainer, you can see that they've reinforced it with like a plastic. If I can just get in there, you might be able to see that a bit better actually. Probably can just make it out. They've reinforced it with a plastic so it stops it from pulling into the actual fabric or the fly knit. Not fly knit. Prime knit, sorry. But anyway, so um, the main thing about these is people saying, what are they like to walk on considering, I have worn these, considering that <coughs> it they are you are walking on all air bubbles but nothing to protect the air bubble. You know what? Initially, it took a bit of getting used to. When I say getting used to, because you, um, you're you not used to walking on so much cushion, it almost hurts the ball of your foot because you're trying to balance as you walk, if that makes sense. But over time, you get used to it. Um, in regards to comfort, they are very much up there. Very, very, very much up there. Style-wise, this is more me. 
then the ultra boost this is more me now now people are saying oh no the vapor max it looks like a football boot and all that shit i don't care it's more me you know what i mean now what i will say in regards to comfort drum roll please if i'm running the vapor max wins hands down if i'm going to be walking long distances it's probably going to be the ultra boost the reason why is that if i'm running this gives you a little bit more of a spring in your step and i'm sure that it's it's made ergonomically that your foot actually bounces back after you tread if that makes sense and it will make sense when i show you that um i've, I've done an on foot video which you're going to kind of see click into this but um for me hands down and I, i'm not being biased the nike trainer wins the ultra the, the, the ultra boost is a nice trainer the technology if you want to call it technology is all right but the vapor max for me in regards to style comfort um ergonomically aesthetically is for me the superior or the i'm not superior is the better trainer <clears throat> the ultra boost is comfortable and it is a lot cheaper remember the two silhouettes you're looking at now the nike was 170 pounds and the ultra boost who i believe was was 90 or maybe 100 so obviously there's well i'd like to say there's been more thought gone into the vapor max but that might not even be so but anyway i'm going to show you the little on foot thing that man did um, i might even show you a couple pictures that i took so you can see what it looks like on foot properly but anyway rain the mask we have a little alternate video the winner is the vapor max all day but anyway i'm out out for now Yo, so it's the Vapor Max up first. So I'm just gonna take a few steps, you get me? Boom, 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 boom. Stepping wassy. So what are your thoughts? So boom, side look. Back. Left side, or maybe you're right, I don't know. What are your thoughts on these? Do these win? Comfortability, you can see the actual air bubble, air unit kind of squashing down. You know what I mean? But very comfortable. Obviously, I think these win outright. Now, for the Ultra Boost. Shouts out to the Boost boys. What are your thoughts? So I'm coming, I'm coming. No homo. Boom. 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 Pow. So Ultra Boost Uncaged. Like, it is a very nice trainer. It looks very nice. There's the back portion, the ankle supports and whatnot. But watch the actual boost sole when I move. You can kind of see that it kind of squishes down and it will lose its shape over time. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Rain the mask. First on foot video in a long time. Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, all them thing there. I'm out. Sit.